As digital banking continues to rise in popularity, users are finding new ways to engage with their mobile banking apps. You give us insight on the digital banking trends, plus what's new this year. We're joined by Chase's head of digital products and channels, Sonali Divilek. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks so much for having me. So Sonali, looking back to 2023, what are some of the digital banking trends that you saw? Well, everybody is using their phone these days to do absolutely everything, and banking is no exception. We're finding customers using their phone to manage their accounts, book travel, and redeem points. This is a trend that continues to persist. I will tell you, we saw a 10% increase year over year in 2023. We now have 54 million customers that are active users of the mobile app. And we, we really see that continuing to, to move. And something that was popular among users last year was the use of financial health tools. Can you tell us more about this and how users can leverage this this year? Absolutely. And I have two very cool tools to share with you. One is called Score Planner. What this does is it takes the customer's actual credit score and it provides them with a personalized plan that gives them actions they can take to actually improve this credit score. I am so thrilled to say we've had over a million and a half users actually use this tool and those that complete the plan on average increase their credit score by 20%. That is a huge win for our customers. The other tool, which is great, especially as we're starting off 2024, is our Spend Planner tool. It really lets you know where your spending is going and in what categories. And if you want to create a budget, it allows you to do that so you can continue to really see how you're tracking with your spending. What are your digital banking trend predictions for 2024? So no surprise, I think you are going to see a lot of players using AI. We here at Chase also use AI. We use it to help answer customer questions and inquiries. Um, and we also use AI as we're constructing recommendations, whether those are for dining or for travel. But with AI, as well as sort of the environment we're in today, we know that data privacy and security are absolutely paramount. And so we actually give customers tools to make sure that they can keep their data secure. For example, you can go into the security center and actually decide as a customer which apps you want to share your data with, and you can turn them off at any time. We also have put significant investment in making sure the Chase data is secure. So even if a customer is trying to share information with an outside party, we make sure they don't have to do that by, you know, compromising their passwords or sharing their credentials. And is there anything new Chase customers can expect in their digital banking experience in 2024? Absolutely. I will say the Chase app is constantly evolving. We are consistently just reaching out to customers, understanding how they're using the digital experience and making changes. As I mentioned, you will see a more concerted effort in making sure our customers' data and their accounts are secure. And then overall, I think you're gonna see a lot simpler and more personalized navigation that really gives customers access to all Chase has to offer, from managing their money, to buying a home, to booking a trip, and making that really all available to them. Chase's head of digital products and channels, Sonali Divilek, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks so much for having me.